Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul recently all came together. They touched tips to form a Lunchables competitor called Lunchly. And inside is what they claim is a healthier version of Lunchables, what we all know and love. Uh, but instead they swapped out like the chocolate bars for Feastables and the drink for Prime. And generally a good rule of thumb for life, I would say, is to not consume anything made by Logan Paul. But regardless, this was met immediately with some backlash, most notably from Dan TDM, another very popular YouTuber, who said, What happened to YouTubers, man? I can't not say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust people who are selling it to them. Do better. And overall, I gotta agree with the consensus, you know? Uh, what YouTube started out as is just a fun little hobby that people couldn't make money off of has turned into a very greedy, money-hungry, doing everything for the sake of views and making money and being at the top and not really caring about the community of people that push them up there. And you can, you know, have your own moral beliefs and what you think's right or wrong for YouTubers selling stuff and making money. Versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! bar. Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, three less grams of fat, and eight less grams of sugar. So you get the gist. They're just saying it's better in every single way and therefore healthy for you because it's better than a processed food kit made for children to take to school like yeah it's not the worst thing and it is better than lunchables but that doesn't mean that it's it's automatically great for you just because it's better than the product you're competing with and trying to take some of their market share but back to the little dan tdm drama uh of course him responding like this prompted them to get a little butt hurt and ksi started just his fingers got hot and he had to let him fly on Twitter, started just saying everything he possibly could to rebut it. He responded to a different YouTuber getting cancelled for trying to sell a $50 a year subscription for a wallpaper app. I don't know anything about that MKBHD, whatever his name is, drama thing. But he responded and said, what happened to YouTubers, man? And just quoted what Dan TDM said, and then followed that up by saying, some dumbass YouTuber said this exact thing to me the other day. Rather than complaining, crying, and trying to cancel a YouTuber for creating a product, here's an idea. If you don't want slash like a product, just don't buy it. Simple. This is a 30-year-old grown-ass man acting like this, also saying dumbass YouTuber to one of the legends of YouTube, Dan TDM. And overall, he's just acting like a crybaby over a critique from someone. Which in the same vein to him saying if you don't want it or like it, don't buy it, just if you can't handle the critique and the criticism for making a product, don't make it. Simple. But then he also tweeted again and said, uh, a lot has happened these past few days online, so here I am addressing everything below. And he says it's an apology, but uh, it's not an apology. It just takes you to his new song. Overall, KSI is just handling this situation more immaturely than like a two-year-old when he gets his favorite toy truck taken away. Dude is baby raging to the max over just one critique, one tweet, which you think after him being on YouTube and online for like a decade or more at this point, he would have grown a bit more thicker skin than that. But regardless, it didn't just stop there at tweets. That's not where he stopped responding and getting upset about what Dan TDM said. He made an entire video about it, an entire video saying everybody hates us right now. And you can see the, uh, the reception right there in the like to dislike ratio, which also prompted Logan Paul to uh, react and respond to KSI's video, which also was received very similarly. And obviously both of them are, uh, you know, they have each other's dicks in their hands, so they're going to be supporting one another for this product. But basically it's just KSI yelling what he tweeted. The Dan TDM replied. This is what he had to say. What happened to YouTubers, man? I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. 
Do better. Do better. Oh, wow. The way he's acting, KSI is definitely having sleepless nights over this. He is like waking up at 3 a.m. thinking that Dan TDM has just ran into his house and insulting him straight to his face, saying how his Lunchables competitor product sucks. He must feel inadequate or something compared to him because there's, there's no reason you should react like this over a tweet. Dan TDM came through with his with his tweet so i was like all right i got a reply to this so so this is what i said looks like crap to me while showing his toys that he sold to kids <laughs> how does this benefit your fans dan <laughs> So yeah, he made yet another tweet in response to what Dan TDM said. This is like 7 to 1 at this point. And it was responding with how uh, Dan TDM has figurine, figures and figurines of his character for sale. But I think it's funny that he used a U2s as one of the examples and KSI also has his own U2s. <laughs> Even the community notes is against KSI in this one. And he did another response. He did a response to that response because he was said people were saying, but, but, but he was talking about food, JJ, saying he was sponsored, then promoted and made a whole video on Munch Pack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. Now what? And you really know that KSI is grasping at straws trying to come up with anything at this point. <laughs> He's just trying to grab onto a ledge falling down a slippery slope. Because this is a clearly a very old video and it looks like I, he just got sent a free box of snacks and he opened it on video. That is completely different from you making and selling your own product to your fans. I guess KSI really just feels like he has something to prove in this situation. But the last thing I want to show you here is... Uh, from the Goblin King himself, the man who lives in Swaller and Filth, <laughs> Asmongold, tried both of these things to compare them, just in case you were wondering if there's actually a big difference, if Lunchly is really better. Guys, I feel like this is so anticlimactic. They're basically the same fucking thing. They look different, but they basically taste the exact same. Yeah, so there's no difference at the end of the day. They're the same thing. Who would have thought? They're competing with a product, and it's the same exact product with just different branding with their faces slapped behind it. But I guess you could give one W to Lunchly in that category if it really does taste exactly the same. It's slightly healthier, so I guess that's better than nothing. Just to give them their credit where credit's due. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.